but you really knew him. Right. So what did you think around that time? I mean, I was hurt, first of all. I mean, and it shocked me because at that time, I didn't think that somebody so big could be touched. Yeah. You know, uh, which is, I guess, naive of me to being, you know, that young. I, I felt like, damn, you a mega celebrity. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you something. I, I see Pac on your Instagram, and I know you got a history with Pac. Just give us a little rundown on, like, how you even met Tupac, you know? I first, who man. I first met Tupac, uh, I think at, like, a, he was at a school. Uh, he was speaking at a school. Uh-huh. And, uh, at the time, I was like, you know, I was I was really in it. Like him and Ice Cube were like my favorites. Okay. And uh, I was like, oh man, he gonna be at this school. I forgot what school it was. I don't know if it was like Manual or one of these. He was schools. like how old, 13, 14? I was younger than that. Twi oh, t I was never? probably like 12, 11, something like that. Um, so uh, I remember leaving school with one of my older homies and uh, we went over there and he was speaking to the school, you know, and he kind of walked off stage and of course, Ding, I'm the lightest <laughs> thing in there, you know what I mean? And he was like, you know, hey, what's up? You know, and he actually talked to me for a little bit. Wow. You know, um, so that was, you know, and then I just kept running into him. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I've been on my own. I've been in these streets for a long time, yeah. bro. Uh, I caught my first case at 12 years old. Wow. wow. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I've been out here putting in work for a long time. Yeah. Um, so I was always around people that was older than me. And um, at that time, I was getting the chance to meet a lot of rappers because uh you know shouts out to my uh to my big bro uh kenny mcleod uh kenny mcleod owned the black hole studios back in the days and um who were some of the rappers easy e oh you met easy yeah i met easy uh 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 I, one of the first rappers i met was easy uh quick bone thugs and harmony yeah uh everybody has something to do with like ruthless because they was always recording was the always black hole. Recording. yeah yeah uh I met, uh, I had my first exposure with the Bay Area because of that. Uh, the homie CNH. Okay. Uh, that was managing the Loonies at the time. Yeah, yeah. Met some yeah, of I met guys. him. I met uh, Drew Down. Drew Down. Yeah. Man. Uh, and this was when it was popping. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Mac yeah. of the Year was out. Oh, you know yeah. Them boys were playing. So, like, yeah, it was like he was popping at that time. And uh, so, you know, Kenny helped let me hang out. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, because one day I just knocked on the door one day. And I was just like, yo, I heard it's a recording studio. How old was you? Music. How old was you? Oh, no, I, I was younger than 10. At oh, that yeah, time. you just over there messing I was just with him. Riding around in the bikes. And, and uh, one of my older homies had told me, like, yeah, you know, it's a They do music studio. over there. It was on Rosecrans. So it was like right in the area. So um, I just knocked on the door. I was just like, yo, man, I got $50. And, you know, I'm trying to record. He just kind of laughed at me and was like, man, you know, I'm with you all to be up in here. I was just like, yeah. I, I mean, I got 50 bucks, you know. He, and so he knew, he, you know, because we used to see them all the time. So he was like, oh, man, this one of the kids from the yeah, area. From you know the area. So he would let me hang out, you know what I'm saying, and chill and be in the big recording studios and, you know. So did you ever that. see Pac in the studio? Um, yeah, a couple times. A couple times. A couple times. Yeah, most of the times when I ran into him, though, it was just like, at like, it's crazy. I used to see him at, like, house parties. Yeah. Like, in the hood. He you always know, come to the hood. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he knew a lot of people that I knew that was around, so I was just always kind of intermingling, you know. And, and you know, when you see like, hey, man, you know, I, I'm easy to remember. You yeah. feel me? So especially at that time, I had long hair. I was yeah. looking like one of the bone thugs. <laughs> I don't remember. So uh, you know, like, hey, what's up? Whoop, whoop. And then as the years went on, I got cool with his family, you know. Uh, and then even after he passed, I got, you know, super close with the family, too, you know, so. I want to ask you about you that, know. like, like yeah. when, when he was going, when that whole uh, beef thing was going on out here, you was, you was older then. Well, how was you there in that time? I wasn't old enough to drive. You weren't old enough to drive, nah. but you was in the street. But you I knew was, what I was, was going around. on. Yeah, I knew what was happening. Did you, and, and so the time when he, when he got killed and all that, and being that you was a big fan of his, how did that affect you? Because I look at all of these things, because I know, I was affected to a point, you know, to where I'm same age, born a month apart. You yeah. you think about all these things, but you really knew him. Right. So what did you think around that time? I mean, I was hurt, first of all. I mean, and it shocked me because at that time, I didn't think that somebody so big could be touched. Yeah. You know, uh, which is, I guess, naive of me to being, you know, that young. I, I felt like, damn, you a mega celebrity. 
that shouldn't happen, you yeah. know, or that can't happen. Like, I don't know why I thought that that can't happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know there's been other rappers before that, like, you know, when I got older, I heard stories about like Scott LeBrock and people like that, but I, I wasn't in, that was before my time, so I wasn't listening to rap music at that yeah. time, you know what I'm saying? Um, so Tupac was the first person where I was like, damn, he could be on top of the world and get Still killed, you that. know? And Because they have all that yeah. bodyguard, so you think that, oh yeah, they protect it. Yeah, or just not even that. When you a little kid and you looking up at that, you just, you like, oh, you made it. Yeah. Listen, nobody gonna touch him like who gonna touch you know what I mean I, I, I don't know and, and then he had got shot before and he pulled through I mean Tupac was like Superman to me yeah no, you know what I'm right. saying I, I, even that week that he was shot you know we all thought he was gonna make it yeah of course you everybody was thinking yeah. that and it, the, even the doctors were like oh he doing better yeah they you played know, us I, yeah and, and damn it just happened and I remember uh Theo was on the radio at that time on 92.3 The Beat. And I knew Theo too, because uh, I used to call into the radio station every day. Um, and uh, he used to talk to me every day. And I, so I heard him on the radio. And um, I just, you know, a tear came to my eye, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just remember him playing Stevie Wonder, Ribbon in the Sky. Yeah. So whenever that, so whenever that song come on, I think it's about it. Yeah. What about was it? Do you feel like it was the Orlando pe person that they always say? I knew, I knew who did. It. You I, knew exactly I mean, who it was, because of the being a part of. You in Cali, yeah. You in the streets all the time, right? So it was obvious to you. You you might have knew what was going on a little more than yeah. the person in Texas, right? I knew what was kind of happening behind the scenes. I mean, I knew a lot of people that were actively in that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, so I knew I knew some of the little beefs that were going on, some of the rumors and some of the things that were happening in the street. So yeah. I mean, it wasn't long before I knew what, what, what happened. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Uh, as far as the legality aspects of it. You know, yeah, but it, people it. try to turn it to conspiracy and all kind of stuff. But you being more tapped in would be here, be like if something happened in Texas in my hood, I'm gonna know. Okay, no, nah, that ain't what it was. This is what it was. Well, this is the thing. It's like I think we talked about this off camera a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, this is the thing, this is what's wrong with us as people, you know, and, and what's messed up about us killing each other the way we do is that it can be anything. You know what I'm saying? So could it have been a big conspiracy? Yeah. Could it have been over nothing? Yeah. But that's the problem. It could be everything. Yeah, so when, whenever, it could be any of that. Any so, of that. So when you have somebody important like that, that's a voice for a generation. You know, and we gotta have remember. You know, we gotta show some compassion to Tupac. He's very young. You know, he was a baby. 24, 25. Yeah, when he died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was a baby. You know, in the grand scheme of life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, he was very intelligent for his age, but he was lacking some 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 life experience. Just just because why being wise doesn't come from being smart. Yeah. Being wise comes from age and experience and things. So, you know, I think he just was a victim of his youth at that at that point, but to bring it 360 to what we saying, the problem with us killing each other so often is that when you have somebody important like that, if it is a conspiracy, they can make it look like it's not because we do kill each other, each other over nothing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.